The International Federation of Environmental Health, IFE, has set aside 26th of September to raise awareness on the crucial state of the environment and how well it must be protected. This year's theme of the World Environmental Health Day centered on strengthening the environmental health system for the implementation of sustainable development goals. Our correspondent Emmanuel Olubabuku had a conversation with an environmental expert earlier in this report. The implementation of the sustainable development goals in Nigeria are globally caught across many sectors, and these goals are expected to be achieved by the year 2030. Coming down to Nigeria in relation to our environment, statistics show that the country is ranked eight and among the largest producers of Azada's films. Yes, the Niger, the Niger Delta region has suffered pollution from oil and gas producers and have left with contaminated water and air. The SDG framework has a total of 17 goals, 169 targets and 244 indicators, of which 93 are environment related, which covers natural resource management, climate change, water related issues, marine issues, biodiversity and ecosystems among others when it comes to the pollution like air pollution water pollution uh -huh. um there's a lot to be done and we are already seeing the repercussion if you look at it now with a little rain in lagos in other parts of nigeria there's flooding and yes. it becomes a disaster uh -huh. and it is because because we're not planning our air we have built houses on our flood plains we have blocked the flood plains. The areas where flood, flood uh, overflowing waters are supposed to end up, now we have structures there. That's, another, that's a huge problem. On the 25th of September, Lagos State launched the first ever car-free day to tackle pollution and its harmful effect. It wasn't a surprise to see a lot of vehicular movement on the set day. I can tell you, I think this um, car-free day in, in Lagos started during um, the Babatunde Raji Pashulas and led administration. And I think yeah. then they were followed to a large extent, people were obeying, and then we had a retraction during the, sub the, the government that um, succeeded him. And I think this new administration is bringing it back gradually. And yeah, like you said, people seem not to uh, obey it or they don't understand it. But the challenge now is are people aware we need to do more awareness we need to build more awareness we need to do more advocacy it's not just that day alone that you just rush out and tell people to stay uh, to do a car free day people need to be know they should have known about it weeks days ahead so they can arrange and plan their movement laying down policies and seeing them implemented looks to be a equivalent task for the government as the world moves to achieving the SDGs. Emmanuel Ulupubukun, Plus TV News. And joining us live, live rather, is Solomon Adefolu, a climate change program leader for Nigerian Conservation oh, Foundation, yes. NCF. A very good evening to you, Mr. Adefolu. Thank you so much. Good evening. Thank and you. thanks for having me. That's right. Thank you for joining us. Now, there has been so much clamor for a healthy environment, but to many, just as you watched in that report, to many who are not experts like you, such clamor may fall on deaf ears. And of course, one would want to ask, what exactly is the significance of the World Environmental Health Day? The Environmental Health Day, as it is celebrated around the world, is to raise awareness about the value that the environment uh, provides and also about the health of the environment. We just uh, live in the environment and uh, we do not recognize that the environment plays a role in our elderly living and in helping us achieve a better well-being. So this uh, Environmental Health Day 
is uh, set aside by the uh, global body to represent a day that you, you as an individual, me as an individual, we recognize the value the environment play in our well-being and also for us to take care of the environment. What exactly then is the correlation between the um, implementation of the 17 uh, SDGs as the Sustainable Development Goals and the environment? What's the correlation? So, so in terms of the Sustainable Development Goal, which is... Uh, 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 something that a goal, a global goal, which is always referred to a global goal that was signed in 2015 and as a target year of uh, 2030. And with 17 goals, which we all know, uh, in terms of implementing this goal and achieving this goal, we really need the environment. The environment plays a lot of important role in ensuring the achievement of this goal. Let's take, for instance, uh, clean air and sanitation, which is one of the goal of sustainable development goal. If we want to achieve a cleaner air and a better sanitation around the world, we must be able to reduce asadios and polluting uh, air that are entering into our, our environment. We also must be able to take responsibility to uh, do a proper waste management in order to ensure an hygiene and a, and a safe, uh, healthy uh, living for our people. And that is the only way the Sustainable Development Goal can, achieve, can be achieved. And there are a couple of other goals also which are really related to environmental health, uh, the climate action, the life be, uh, below water, life above water. All of these have a role to play in ensuring that uh, uh, they are achieved with the support of uh, making sure that the environment remains healthy and remain and, and perform its role in, in bringing to reality these goals. Now, going back to the report we just watched and looking at the policies that are written down and trying to juxtapose them with the implementation of these policies, it looks exactly like an, like an equivalent task. And of course, one wants to ask, having these policies, especially in controlling what the environment can take and in keeping the environment healthy. We'll go back to the days of the war against indiscipline, where it was very, very, you know, it, it was very, very strict. And one could see back in those days that it was working, such a policy was working. Policy after policy have common, but we still see people throw um, sachets of water out from their, wind the, their car windows. We see people dump stuff in uh, drainages. Even at the beach, the beach is no longer as beautiful as it used to be. So what can be done to realize, you know, a healthy environment with all of the policies, you know, we all know, thank you very much for that question. We all know that Nigeria has a whole lot of policy in place, environmental policy. Nigeria is very good at, sign, at developing policy and signing and ratifying conventions. But the, our challenge is about implementation of these uh, policies and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, convention. And really, what is in implementation? Implementation is about operationalizing this policy and enforcing the laws. The laws are there. The laws are, you just mentioned, uh, for instance, people throwing such water on the streets and all of that. There are laws. There are sanitation laws. There are environmental law in Lagos. Who is enforcing this law? Do we have the capacity, the institutional capacity to be able to enforce this law? 
uh, government institutions responsible for this law, are they trained in a way to ensure that this law become enforced? Mm. Are they also uh, supported to be able to carry out their activity? These are the real questions we need to ask ourselves. Uh, there are capacity gaps among uh, re relevant institutions for enforcement, which needs to be built. There are operational and uh, technical supports that are needed for these institutions to be able to carry out their function of enforcing laws and implementing policies. But uh, we are really facing uh, a, a big gap that we all need to be able to close. And if we cannot close this gap, mm. we may not be able to realize the implementation of these policies. How then can this not be cracked, you know, to ensure that, you know, a day like this, you know, we could call for celebration, draw out the drums, you know, roll out the drums and dance to celebrating a healthy environment in Nigeria? Well, a day like this is always uh, something that is very good to remind all of us. And also, not only the institutions and stakeholders and the, the, the state actors, but to even remind me and you about the need for us to take care of the environment. Because the reason being that if we don't take care of the environment, the environment has a way of taking care of itself. Yeah. And we are going to be at the, at, 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 at the, uh, at the loss as, as individuals and as people. So uh, we cannot rule out days like this in order to reinforce the need to take care of the environment. However, it should be a daily activity that should be entrenched in the operations of organizations and uh, institutions that are responsible uh, to, to, to deliver a, a, a very safe and secure environment and healthy environment that we have. And all states at, uh, at, at state level has these institutions, even at federal level has these institutions that are responsible for this. We all just need to play our role. Even in our houses, we shouldn't leave it to government alone. We should also play our role. If we need yeah, the, the, the air to not to be polluted, let's plant some trees. Let's ensure that we have trees that are reducing the carbon dioxide that we release into the atmosphere, that, are, that is polluting the atmosphere, and have some fresh air. Those are the roles that we as individuals can play. We also as individuals can always ensure that we sort out our waste. When we sort this waste, this waste does not uh, end up in, 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 uh, in landfills. Mm -hmm. They are recycled and they are made use off by some other people who are at the at the ladder of uh, at the social ladder. So it is important that all hands must be on deck. Not only government, but as individual, as organisation, as businesses, we have a role to play. Thank you very much, Mr. Adefolu, for your time tonight. We will reach out to Thank you again. You, Do have a Barbie. wonderful night rest then. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.